Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fincal. This is the stock portfolio analysis for August 2021. I have been publishing this every month for the last few months. As regular viewers would know that uh, this is a part, a small part of my um, retirement portfolio. And uh, um, currently its value is only about 22% of my uh, mutual fund portfolio and, and about 11, 11, almost 12% of my total retirement portfolio. Now, um, I have been using the idea of uh, low volatility investing primarily to build this portfolio. Therefore, I will be comparing the investments with the uh, Nifty index fund and also the Nifty 100 low volatility 30 total returns index. Now, I published a video called buy stocks easily without breaking your head sometime back. Um, this is largely based on what I do. So the primary criteria for me is uh, company health, the company should not have too much debt and it should have uh, uh, reasonable health in terms of uh, its uh, uh, income and dividends and uh, uh, also it should be, uh, uh, it should have low volatility, the price volatility should be low at least over the last one year and I also like companies that trade or uh, typically trade close to its all time high most of the time. And uh, that's a simple criteria I, I use to build the portfolio. I don't, I don't, I don't break my head uh, choosing stocks or, or deciding on weights too much. I just, I just uh, started building this as a, uh, as part of what I would like to call as the ideal retirement portfolio. One part of it coming from passive income, one part of it coming from dividends. That is from this, let's say, uh, then the other coming from. Uh, from the usual retirement corpus and so on. So this is one component of that. How I invest and the way, uh, the kind of stocks I choose, for example, I don't care about valuation. I don't, I'm not, a, I hate value investing. It's, uh, it's, it's too risky. Uh, I don't like that. So uh, it may not be of, uh, of relevance to you. It may not be suitable to you. So please do, uh, do your own research before uh, investing. Now I had uh, published a tool recently, um, for calculating the XIRR, so this is uh, this is a tool for calculating XIRR with all corporate uh, actions taken into account, like dividend splits and so on. So every return that you see in this video is taken from that. Uh, you should not take the returns in my case too seriously because most of the investments uh, were made uh, in the last few months, from about a year or so. Uh, although the first stock investment I made was in 2014, but somewhere here, but then not much was invested. Then you can see the investment started growing and then it started moving up. So it, it, the investment was so high that you don't even see the, you know, the, uh, the uh, March 2020 crash last year. So uh, these are the weights, Asian Paint about 17%, Infi the f about 13.7%, uh, Pity Light 12.8%, TCS 12.52%, Hindustan Unilever 12.2%, HDFC Bank 11.5%, uh, Dabur about 6.6%, uh, Colpal 4.5%, Wipro 3.53, Marico 2.9 and ITC 3.32. Now, uh, I've been asked how I choose the weight every month. I don't uh, spend a lot of time. What I do is I look at these stocks. I don't go outside the stock universe unless I really need to. Uh, within this stock universe, I look at the stocks that have that have got the highest momentum that is moving up and then I try to invest in that. I don't think it's a great uh, uh, strategy, but I, I also think it's a waste of time trying to have equal, maintain equal weights for all these stocks. I think it's a, because the market forces are too strong, it's just a waste of time. I just rather follow momentum. It, it's okay to have a skew towards a few stocks. I pretty much, I'm not going to worry too much about it. All right. So, um, the dividend uh, return we will define as the total dividends divided by the total investment capital gains as the total capital gains divided by the uh, total investment and the total portfolio return is the dividend return plus the capital gains return. You can calculate a compounded annualized growth, growth rate using this total return and the average years that is this is the weighted average. Uh, that is that you weight the tenures with the investment amounts. So the weighted tenure of the entire portfolio is only about 0.97. So it will soon become one. And uh, after that, it will be uh, in, the returns will become slightly more easier to uh, make sense out. All the returns are before tax. And uh, I have assumed that identical investments are made in both the UTI Nifty 50 index fund and also the Nifty 100 low volatility 30 uh, 
total returns index. So in the case of the Nifty, I have chosen an index fund which has got the expense ratio taken into account. In the case of low volatility index, it's a bad index because I don't have the, the ETF was started only recently, so I don't have the history for it. So these are the absolute gains, dividend gains and total gains and the XIRR for each of the stocks. Some of these XIRR are astonishingly high. Don't worry too much about it. They'll come down with time. Yeah, <laughs> ITC, uh, the meme stock has given 7% 7, 7 of XIRR with all its dividends included, which is not so bad at all. Considering it's a, it's, it's, it's still a very healthy company as, as, as such. Now, uh, the stock uh, portfolio has an absolute return of 29.5%. The UTI Nifty 50 index fund has got an absolute return of 26%. And the Nifty 100 low volatility 30 index has got an absolute return of 26.81%. So obviously, the associated XIRRs and CAGRs will also be higher. I don't want to go too much into it. It's just that at the moment, the stock, the stock portfolio is doing rather uh, reasonably well, I would say. And uh, the beta of the portfolio, according to ticker tape, which is uh, connected to the zero the account is uh, 0.56. This means that the portfolio is about 40, 44% less volatile than the index like the Nifty or the uh, Sensex and the portfolio has no red flags according to ticker tape. So I'm having fun building this portfolio. You don't need to um, uh, follow what I'm doing, but uh, I use Simply Wall Street. I'm a paid subscriber in Simply Wall. Uh, Simply Wall. St. This is a, uh, this is the uh, general uh, portfolio snowflake. So in terms of dividend, it offers high dividend. In terms of health, it has got very good health. It's reasonably pa good past performer. Doesn't have much of a future scope, and uh, definitely it's not a value portfolio. So uh, that's about it. And uh, 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 I mean, do your own research in building the portfolio. Bye bye.